Hey fam, hey, 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 holla at your girl. <laughs> it has been a while. It's been a while. I have not been doing much with my hair. However, I am back with a cover girl review. It has been a while since I've done a review on some cover girls. Anyway, hashtag support a sister. This is the kinky curl out unit from fingercomber.com. You've seen me review um, these units before. The last one was in the same kinky curl out technique, except it was in the shape of the Habesha Bob. And that was a few years ago. I love that unit. It is like a really nice, lightweight go-to unit. What I love about Finger Comer is that the units are half wigs or falls, um, but they are full cap. So that you can actually wear them without leave out. And that's what I'm doing here. I have the unit pushed back a little bit behind my hairline, which is how I prefer to wear most of my cover girls. And um, because it's just more believable. Oh, I'm not into unboxings. I cannot stand unboxings. They are so boring. Like, dude, it came in a box. It was delivered. It was shipped. It was handled. <laughs> But it came in its signature brown cardboard box, which I love the minimal um, aspect of that. I always love that about them. And the, the black tissue paper. And you know what? With my order, I meant to get some more Havana hair. That was the first thing I ever bought from uh, Finger Comer was their Havana hair. And it also came with this little card with the young lady on there and all of her beauty. As you can see, she's wearing hers with the side part, I mean the middle part. I opted to wear mine with the illusion of a side part. My hair is gray in the front and I forgot to order a pinch of salt before checkout. So I'm left with having a little bit of fun with um, creating the illusion that my hair is the same color as this unit. You've seen me do this before with mascara and I almost reached for the mascara, but then right next to it, I had the eyeshadow and it's funny because I'll keep like a few makeup items right here because I might want to record or I might use the makeup in arts and crafts like most of my eyeshadow I'm using it in some kind of arts or crafts <laughs> anyway or playing with it like a child but anyway what I did is I just dapped a little bit on this little stupid sponge applicator and I just went all around the edges where I thought my hair might show, like if the wind blew or anything like that. And I covered it with the black. You can get creative if your hair, and, and you can use any color, like if your hair is a certain color, you can you just go into your makeup kit, pull out what you have. If it's a charcoal eyeliner, use that. Whatever color your hair is, whatever the color on your head is, you can do that with to your hair to like, camouflage with the color you've seen me do it before like with the um my faux locks i did it with my faux locks um video and also you can do your eyebrows if you're into that kind of thing anyway i found myself doing that but my next finger comber unit unit that i purchased is gonna have a pinch of salt because i think that would be so fun or if you don't want to do the pinch of salt thing and you happen to have some of that temporary hair color hanging around maybe some silver or um, some of them might have gray or something or maybe some white that might come out looking like a little bit of a silver. You can kind of play with that on some of the strands close to your, um, to your hairline or wherever you want to do it. Those are just some tips, side note. <laughs> um, this is very beautiful, very lightweight. Uh, I ordered it last week. It came day before yesterday, so I was really impressed with the shipping. Um, I didn't have to do anything but put it on. And then with, with the camouflage, because I didn't want to have any leave out, I just something about leave out, it just, some, it just gets under my skin. I can't. And I've always been that way because the whole point is to protect my hair. But what I did is... I just took my hair in the front and I took a rat tail and I just kind of pumped it up a little bit around the edges. So my hair is not very tight. My natural hair is not very pulled, tightly pulled back. So it gave me some leeway to just kind of, you know, pump up the edges. And then after that, I took the unit itself and I back 
combed or back brushed. Actually, I did both. I used the rat tail comb and then I turned around and used a little uh, toothbrush and back brushed it on the edges so that I would have a zhuzh um, and an illusion of everything melding together. And since I have an illusion of a side part, even though my natural hair is brushed back, I just took the, the toothbrush and I just did one of these swoop type of numbers just so that it all kinds, kind of just, you know, blends in. Real simple, took me like five minutes to do. It was fun playing. Um, I have my eye on, oh, this Kiki Curl Out, just so I tell you. If you happen to go on their website and you're not sure what the difference is between the kinky curl out unit and the soft kinks, even after looking at tons of videos, what I can tell you is that the kinky curl out unit is like, it's as if you washed your hair, you're letting the air dry into a fro, and then you decided, you know what, I want some curls at the tips. So you have like this big voluminous froy texture with some, some um, curls and coils at the ends. The kinky, the soft kinks looks to me more like a twist out. Now, I would venture to say it's, it, for some people, like if you have like a 3C hair texture, it could be mimic a, maybe your wash and go. For me, my wash and go is tighter. So I would say for me, it looks more like a twist out. I am considering getting that unit next. In fact, I think it might've been sold out, the one that I wanted, I'm not sure. But I'm thinking of playing a little bit with color, like so if they have any highlights or something, I might have some fun with that. And with the little, you know, if, it, if they offer a touch of salt and pepper with those highlights, I might even do that too. Why not? Um, this unit, I have to say is a lot of hair and I am here for it. You remember, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know that I used to not like hair that was the length of mine or as big as mine if it was not my hair. I would always go for like something above the shoulders or a bob, even with the braids, those long braids, I would just be like, oh, I can't, I, I wanted like something that was at the shoulders and more believable, even though my hair had the length. Um, but that has changed. I changed. I don't know what had happened. <laughs> I have no idea, but there's something very, very glamorous and feminine about big hair. I always loved big hair. And I honestly, because this is so lightweight and it's so believably mine, you know, it looks like it grew out of my scalp because it's not so dense. Um, I'm here for it. You know, and I think they have a shorter one. I think, is it the LS, which stands for lifestyle, and HD stands for high density. I'm not sure. I want to say they have a shorter length of this that'll hit you at the shoulders if you just want something that you can wear to work, just throw on, and you you know you're not having all this hair all around you, whatever you can do that. But, um, and just so you know, you guys, I have a whole hairdo up under here. I have my hair twisted, but I have the twist sectioned in three sections where I clipped and then pulled it down, clipped again, pulled it down, clipped again, and then I bubble clipped all the way down to stretch it. And I did not tuck anything. My ponytail was still hanging in the back. And I actually could probably still go out with it like this without anybody knowing it, without anybody, what do you call it? Clocking it. So just look. Did you see my ponytail or did you just see voluminous cover girl? Okay. Um, what else about this unit that I wanted to share with you all? Um, I told you about the shipping, which was spot on. Um, next time I will be getting salt and pepper. So they do come with salt and pepper. That's an extra $15. Um, let's see, do, 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 very lightweight. This is a fall or half wig, but it comes with a full cap. So you have the option to either, you know, wear it as a half wig or pull it forward. So you protecting all of your hair. You can have leave out, you can do it without leave out. 
Um, you can push this further back. You can wear it half up, half down. You can push it back and wear a headband. You can do all of that, or you can do it like this. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm loving it. I'm just totally loving it. Um, is there anything else? I feel like I'm forgetting something, and I say that all the time, but typically I'm not. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. My next unit is probably going to be the Soft Kinks, and I meant to order the Havana Twist hair, which was the first um purchase i got from finger comber way back in the day when they first started um i meant to get me some more of that because i'm considering a hairdo you know my hair i have been wearing it wrapped for quite a while and now that the panda has tempered down and everything i've let it out more and um i, I probably wouldn't be wearing this like to the grocery store because you know people coughing and stuff you know <laughs> it's just like <laughs> but you know i'll be wearing it you know like if i know i'm going somewhere where it's just intimate a few people or something like that or you know to family or something then i I would do that and i know i'm probably just kind of overdoing it with the whole protecting my hair thing but hey to each his or her own all right you guys i keep looking at it because i'm just having so much fun with it and i hope you have fun if you decide to get one as well until the next video, you guys, live simply and be kind. And no, this is not a sponsored video, but it's hashtag support a sister.